Right, so there are some calming exercises we do, especially with smaller puppies like Benny. By the time a great Dane has grown up, of course, it's too late. Unless you're an especially large person. So. Shana, quiet. So I'm going to pick Benny up on my lap and we're going to do a puppy exam. I set my timer. 
So at 15 minutes, this will end. A few times he's gone to sleep on me doing this. That's a nice thing to have happen. And I like to play with his paws. They can do funny dances. I'll examine between his little toesies. Good boy. And I'll examine these little toesies. And those little toesies. First time we did it, unfortunately, I don't think, I might have gotten it on videotape, I don't think so though, he struggled quite a bit. And he really enjoys the belly rubs and the chest scratchy, so I use that to, to reward him while he's being nice and calm. It's good, it's important to uh, be able to examine your dog regularly too. So this is a behavioral exercise, but it's also a good health exercise because you want to find if there's something different, a tick, a lump, a cut, a swelling. And you want your puppy or dog to be relaxed while, while you're doing that. see the big old love bug. He's my little space alien. Huh. He is. He can bluff like I said. And there's been a couple of times putting him in the crate. He's tried to bite us a little bit. But nothing seriously. Mostly bluff. And uh, as a result of being allowed to get away with things his whole life and probably being treated for them too. Huh. But these guys can be great little guys. They can be a lot calmer through training and behavioral management and that sort of thing. So he doesn't, I wouldn't say uh, that he doesn't really have any behavioral problems other than being a spoiled puppy. And I mean, when I say spoiled, I mean allowed to get away with things that he shouldn't and not being given the proper guidance and training to have him be a more relaxed fellow that understands the rules and the work that he needs to do. Work for a dog can just be being companionable and obedient so that you can get, you know, through a walk during the day uh, without getting your arms Pulled and yanked and looking like you have a wild dog at the end of the leash. So like his job right now is to be nice and relaxed so I can do a examination of all his extremities in his ears and his mouth. Oh, look at that gummy gummy mouth. He starts to squirm. So he relaxes again. Yeah. 
make such funny sounds. I can't help but laugh at them. Little baby sounds. Little baby sounds. Little sounds of baby. Well, actually, Benny is a baby. Pointing out. Huh? Benny's pointing out. And pause. Very well. Still, but not quite the last shot. I think he's gone to sleep. Oh, there he is. Um. 
Got a good way. It looks like uh, any owners probably do his nails themselves, but just in case they haven't been, I usually press a little bit on the tips of their nails, like I'm going to clip them, just to see if that would be a problem for them, and or to sensitize, desensitize them to that if it would be a problem. Oh boy. So stinking cute. Probably very easy to spoil this guy. All right. So if he starts to struggle as we get up, there. Want a nice calm dismount too. Okay. 